Uh, man, uh, yep, uh, I've been on this mission to, uh, try to live in a state of a good repentance. So, the other day I went to my brother and I said to him, I, I said, hey brother, I'm sorry man for not setting a better example for you. Just out the blue, man, and, uh, you know, I mean, he reassured me that there's no, no fucking bad blood anyway, but I just felt I needed to do that because I didn't set a great example for him, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all on me. No one said, you better go and do this. I just felt compelled out of my spirit to do it, and at, for one, is to set an example for him. That look, your older brother uh, doesn't just preach to you and tell you what you got to do and how to do it. Instead, it's like I no, we don't even got to talk about it. I'll just do it. And you know, so I did that. That was that. This been it's been uh, really hitting me hard lately. Is you got to go to everyone and seek out either people you need to forgive. Or you need to go find the people that you need to ask them to forgive you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm going to have to live in a, uh, you know, uh, I just had a situation, man, where I let, I let somebody take me for a freaking ride, man. And <clears throat> I knew it was going this way. And for some reason, I even let him drag me along for a little bit longer and uh, dig the uh, sink the knife in even freaking deeper. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm feeling really, uh, really stupid. Just really, really in betrayal, man. And, uh, and, uh, I even, you know, uh, took blame and responsibility myself. And then they used that as an opportunity is everything that I said, they brought it up again. And try to hurt my heart with it on the way out the freaking door. Uh, which, you know, is which pretty much is what uh, a, a proud, arrogant, self-righteous person would do. So all that, all those acts, man, all that, that masquerading that they did. You know what I'm saying? And the redirection, the misdirection, the... Uh, the doo-doo test, I got put through all that stuff, and, uh, you know, I'm feeling really stupid, I, I, I'm feeling stupid, I, and, and listen, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not angry at the person, I'm angry at myself, and, uh, you know, the devil, because he tricked me again, you know what I'm saying, and even though it doesn't matter how much you know, how often you're, you're doing what's right, you, you there's a moment of weakness, always that will it, it what it is 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 it's the it's the pride killer it's the giant killer that's in you uh you know what i'm saying that's in the stubborness and the pride and the ego and the self-righteousness and the holier than thou and that spirit of uh being critical and uh that it's cerebro depending or, or relying on the strength of your intellect and your and your mind and from your perception, and all the while, I mean, uh, you know, I can, I'll be confident not in myself or in this other person. I'll just be confident in the scripture because the scripture addresses all these things, so we don't really even have to play the blame game uh, on each other. It's just uh, just go to seek out the scripture and, and, and let the scripture reprove you. You know what I'm saying? Let it be your light and your guide and uh your instruction and uh you know uh because you know let every man be a a liar and let god be the truth you know what i'm saying so i've uh it does say in the in the bible it says if you are going to make a offering to god but you have an offense against your brother first go unto your brother and make it right with him, and then go to God. So in other words, you got to 
reconcile as much as you can in your own life, in your own time, and of your own volition, your own will. It can't be forced. It can't be just a ritual like the Catholics going and confessing to the guy that's really just an intelligence dossier builder. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be really from the heart, and it's got to be really in truth without, without, uh, there's no real external reward. There's only internal peace that it will bring because, uh, you know, th these are the things that, uh, that do corrupt your soul is, uh, hanging on to grudges. And someone was telling me, you know, to look, there's two kinds of judging. There's judging something like, all right, how tall is that man? What do I think this man sizes? Is he medium size? Is he tall? Is he small framed? That's a judgment. But to say, that small framed, uh, let's just say, uh, that small frame man right there, he's going to hell, I can tell by looking at him. That's making a judgment that is like a judgment as in condemning someone, especially off their looks, but even their actions. Because when you watch someone do something, you don't always know what the intentions are. So just to judge and jump in there and go all the way and be like, they're definitely going to hell. You know what? The Bible says, condemn not lest ye be condemned also. So when these people, anyone that I see that's quick to condemn people, like especially publicly and in front of people, they're not operating out of the spirit of love at all, uh, nor truth. Because listen, here's the thing. What if that man repents, gets saved in two years from when you said he was destined for hell, you become a liar. And you also made God a liar. You know what I'm saying? Because you come in the name of God. And you announce before people your your perception, what you think. You're leaning onto your own understanding instead of putting it, then asking God. Uh, you know, and I asked God, man, to show me what he, what what was the deal with the situation. And uh, yeah, it, it went according to what I was uh felt was going on, but the person tried to pretend for a long time that, you know what I'm saying, that uh, there was still some kind of hope, but no, I knew it was a fucking game, man, but in order to find out, I had to play along, and it just, it did exactly what I knew it was going to do, man, uh, you know, uh, and it basically said F you on the way out the door and just denied everything, uh, tried to instruct and teach, and uh didn't just only looked at the bad things and didn't recall anything good and uh totally thought I was about something else that I was really like to this and not what they thought was the only reason I was uh uh about them for so I mean it's it's really fucking it's been really sad you know I've been in tormented you know it's like cuz it's like you know when you when you got a when you got two people it's like, look, it's, it is stronger, and that's why the devil attacked it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know what I'm saying? Uh, God's will be done, man. You know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump off a fucking bridge uh, over it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not too proud. Yeah, I guess it is my own fault. You know what I'm saying? So that person's free of any, of any residual effects from my way i mean but you know am i salty about the situation yeah a little bit but and this has happened before i've been through this stuff before and it's not my first rodeo unfortunately uh hopefully it's not uh hopefully it is it is the last rodeo i mean uh it's the end of the freaking world this person uh also isn't seeing the time that we're in that this is no time to be playing games with people you like that, you know what I'm saying, and they were getting much joy out of it, like joy, you could always LOL, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, I fed that demon to prove that it was there, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, and hey, God have mercy on us all, you know what I'm saying, and here's another thing, uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's the proof right there, man. Uh that 
you know, when you want to, you know, you want to blame just the person, blame someone, and, uh, and, uh, duck accountability yourself, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's not a, that's not courage, it's not the truth, it's not the fear of the Lord, uh, it's something else, 